Yeah, good day. This is uh, Jack VK3 at W, and uh, we're looking at a program called uh, Radio Mobile. I thought some of you uh, YouTubers might be interested in uh, what's sort of out there. This is uh, this program has been written by Roger VE2 Delta Bravo Echo from Canada. It's a very very powerful program for doing uh, propag propagation predictions on VHF UHF. I'll just do a little basic demonstration. I um, I'll show you. Uh, what can happen when we have an LIPD in the Melbourne Melbourne area in the uh, central business district running around 20 to 30 milliwatts what damage it can do to a repeater that's uh, around about a thousand meters above sea level some 57 kilometers away all right first of all we need a couple of units <coughs> so we'll uh, enable a couple we've got Jeff shed this is in the uh, the central business district in Melbourne you see it's 15 meters above sea level very low in the uh, in the Melbourne area, and then we go and enable Mount St Leonard. You can see that's up around 1,000 metres, and you can see here the lat and long and the grid locator, which is quite handy too for uh, contesting getting your maiden head grid. If someone gives you the lat and long, you can uh, convert quite easily. Okay, we'll just uh, choose that. Now we've got these two two uh, two um, places on the map. What we'll do is we'll expand a little bit so I'll make it easier for you to see. But also while I'm here, you can see where I've put the cursor position. I can move it anywhere around here, and it can, you can see here it's changing the altitude. This is reading the altitude and the lat and long, plus the grid locator down the bottom there. It's a handy little feature to have. So I'll put somewhere in the middle there. And uh, we'll go to map properties, and what we'll do here, we'll look at uh, yeah, 50 kilometres. Um, use the cursor position, so that's looking at 50 kilometre radius around those two select that, we'll change the map a bit, well, now we should have a better view of the uh, of the two stations, one down the bottom here and one right at the top there. Now what we need to do now is to uh, give those a, um, make those members of a network, we've got an LIPD net here, uh, the membership of the LIPD net, we've got those two stations only there as members, uh, this one here is uh, subordinate. It's the system is LIPD. We'll show you the systems in a second. And Mount St. Leonard belongs to the repeater system. Now, if we have a look at the systems, the LIPD system has a transmit power of 20 milliwatts. And uh, we won't have to worry too much about the receiver. The antenna is omnidirectional. The antenna gain of 1 dB. We better probably bump that up just a little bit. Antenna height is, uh, this is on top of a crane, the boom of a crane, which would be around about 100 feet, so we'll put 30 metres in there. Okay, now the, uh, the, the, the next one is the repeater. That's a transmit power around about 50 watts. We're not really worried too much about that. We don't care if the LIPD can hear it or not. <coughs> uh, more interested in the antenna gain, or antenna types omnidirectional. You've got choices there different types of uh, antennas. Antenna gain 6 dBi and the antenna height 20 metres. This tower height 20 metres above the uh, above the mountain. So we'll leave that as that is. Yes. And we'll choose OK. Now if we go up here and choose uh, the, the uh, radio link prediction and what we need to do now is to choose our two uh, at two stations. There we go. We're now uh, looking at this one here first. You can see that uh, that the uh, receive signal from the mountain top is strength two, and uh, your um, more more technical information is down here. That's on the band of 433 to 434 megahertz and the net is the LIPD net which we uh, we can change if we have other nets there. Uh, in the antenna height 30 metres above, above uh, the ground and 20 metres above the ground there. Antenna gain 2 dBi and then you've got 2 milliwatts, oh, sorry 20 milliwatt transmitter. Yeah so uh, you can see that if the uh, repeater was transmitting back this um, signal would receive uh, S9 plus 10 dB. 
Now also looking along this line here, you can see the green patches, red, then yellow, then green. That's meaning that uh, this is actually uh, signal or no signal. If we chose a point there, we've actually got no signal neither way. Can't hear anything. And um, yeah, but uh, here would be a marginal signal. If we get a bit further, there we go. Marginal signal there, just breaking the mute. But you can see that uh, from the, um, the total signal, there's enough signal there to open up the uh, repeater. Now, if this LIPD was um, running more gain on the antenna, running a higher power limit over, you know, a, an illegal power limit or something like that, it would really give uh, repeater a hard time. See, 57.44 kilometres is the distance and clearance. Um, <coughs> 17.10 metres at the lowest point. So if we look along here, the, the tightest clearance would be uh, somewhere around about here, I'd say, 17.10 metres. All right. Uh, yeah, so uh, if that particular device was on, um, on 2 metres, we can just change these figures down here. And you can see it's a lot stronger there less loss on um, on two meters but we're working uh, uh, we're working on on UHF so uh, yeah. that's what we're looking for so you can see that this um, little LIPD that's in Melbourne is uh, can cause heaps of trouble here now another feature of this this uh, program we can go here and we can um, and we can uh, choose merge pictures and we can download a map off uh, MapQuest we're doing it from. By the way this map in the background while this is happening it's uh, it's come down from um, the internet there's uh, free maps pretty much cover the whole world you can download them off various sites as there's uh, information of where they get them from from the uh, radio mobile site or other sites on the web will tell you. Now you can see I'm downloading a road map or a, uh, a um, street map I'll keep it in a new picture and what we can do now we can actually go back to where we were before and you can basically see there's Melbourne post office little star there and this is the uh, the line of sight contact here <coughs> yeah so uh, very very powerful program quite a steep learning curve you don't expect to be up and running with it very quickly it's uh, it takes a little bit to get it to go. My main use for this program is to use it for uh, VHF UHF contesting and um, and uh, oh no, I'll just uh, want to see if I can open that up. But no. And um, <coughs> yeah, what I do is I put lots of mountain tops all over plus some Melbourne, this is Melbourne in the middle here there, some uh, Melbourne stations to give me a bit of an idea what signals can be received back in uh, Melbourne, what sort of station we need to build out in the uh, out in the country and uh, also I can check you know signals from maybe our portable location wherever we might be to other portable locations, other radio clubs that, that set up all over the place. Yeah so that's really really good <coughs> and I've sat here for hours and hours and hours and realised that uh, a lot of the good spots are taken by um, commercial <laughs> commercial setups. Anyway, yeah, Radio Mobile by VE2 Delta Bravo Echo. Have a look at it. Certainly a wonderful program.